Hello everyone, well Starbursts here. I gotta turn something off because it's bugging the crap out of me. Quit. Alright, it was just playing my voice like a second after I started after I started talking and yeah, no. Um but yeah, back to the video. This is a combination lock in Minecraft. Well it's sort of a combination lock. It's not sensitive to which order you uh press the buttons, but it's sensitive to which buttons you press, so um, if you want like a better combination than just every other one, the right combination is marked by the clean stone. If you want a better combination than that, then you can just like scramble the uh, buttons and whatnot to be uh, different. But I just did this for because it's easy. <laughs> so let's see what happens or what happens when you uh... actually no, I'll demonstrate. So we press all of the right buttons like that. And this and all these and like that nope okay so now oh wait the door doesn't open but then we press this and it opens oh my god but it doesn't close until you press the button again and I'll get to that or why that is later um, and there's the delay because there's a lot of redstone involved and we'll, let's just reset it really quick all right so how this works. These buttons right here work because uh, there's something right here called an RS NOR latch. And what that pretty much does is it, um, that's, uh, you know, I'll undo this actually. That's this portion right here, this portion that I'm looking at. And what it does is it, it always has one of these sides powered. So either this side or this side. And it remembers which side is powered. So when I give uh, this side an input from the uh, button, like so, then it remembers this side is uh, powered, so it stays that way, which is how we can have a button instead of a, lev a lever there. Um, then that signal travels upwards a little bit and goes to something called an AND gate. And what an AND gate does is, is if two there, yeah. If there are two inputs and both of them are on, it, it provides an output. So you see that we didn't press the other button that's included in this AND gate, which is right here because you can see all the connections and, and whatnot. So when we press this, you see that goes on, and this is activated as well. And then there's another AND gate up here, which is activated by, or there are what? seven AND gates in all. There are five on this first layer, and this first layer looks a lot like a uh, sports bracket that you see in like sports tournaments and whatnot. There are, I guess, six teams that face off, and then three come out. Well, actually four come out, because of uh, this weird thing. This bracket would look weird. Two teams come out, or go in, and two teams come out, because um, the input is uh, spread equally for this one and that one. Uh, but it would make no... Well, yeah. <laughs> it's just spread throughout there. Um, but it doesn't make much of a difference if it weren't, I guess. So, yeah. So, you, to activate all these AND gates, um, or these three AND gates, you need to press all the buttons. So let's go do that. Or let's press uh, these two now. Let's see that one. And that one. Now this AND gate is active, which means that now both of these inputs are activated, which means it now gives an input. It goes up here to this AND gate, um, which is activated by pressing these two buttons over here and those two buttons by those two buttons and these two buttons. So let's go ahead and press these two buttons. And then we can go back over here and see that this was given power because of this AND gate because this, both of these inputs were, uh, uh, because this provides inputs, it gives an output over here, it goes upwards a little bit, and this is the final stage, the final AND gate. This is the, uh, represents the button that you press right over there to open the door, and this represents getting the combination correct. So, um, actually, if you wanted to, you could probably wire up a redstone torch that goes off when you get the combination correct that is like right here or something um, and then you can press the button and what the button does is when you press it this uh, input goes through this whole thing called an what is it I was about to say RS Norlatch but that's these things um, it's called a T flip-flop 
And what that does is it pretty much toggles power. So you'll see it makes it can make a button toggle power. So uh, instead of just toggles power. Um, so you'll see this is on right now. And when we press the button, it's off and it stays off. This going off makes that go on, off, on, off, on. And this powers the AND gate. This AND gate isn't as neat as the other ones. It's kind of messy because if I made it straightforward, like say that one, um, it would interfere with this redstone right there. Um, so I just made it sideways and awkward. So fun times. Um, and then this signal travels all the way down over here and to the door. So that's pretty much how the combination lock, lock works. But now you'll ask, but wait, what happens if you hit the wrong input starbursts? Well, let's reset it and, well, actually we don't have to reset it um, because all of these, all of the wrong inputs are resets. So I'll, I'll show you how the simpler reset works. If you want to reset the combination, you just press that and power is given to the other side of all the RS NOR latches. So let's do that once. So like that, you'll see power is given to all of the other sides. So like that, 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 and that. And you saw before that that side was powered, now this side is powered, and um, the door closes because you don't have the combination correct, which is showed by that line of redstone being powered. Um, so let's go ahead and press the right combination now. So like this. All right, now if the button has already been pressed, the door should open. Yep, okay. Now these, the wrong buttons do, say you happen to press the wrong button after you enter the right combination or something. Um, it goes down under here through this not gate, which um, deactivates once, by the way, these all, this goes for all buttons, all these tunnels lead up to the other uh, buttons. When the signal hits the not gate, it's inverted, so right now it's on. Um, but when you press one of the buttons, then this side will turn on, this will turn off, and um, all these will turn off, which means that these redstone torches will uh, turn on. So to simulate that, we can go like this, all those turn on, and the whole thing is reset, and uh, then when the button would go back off, then that would go back off, but it'd be too late because everything would be reset. So that's how this works. Um, hopefully you guys understood if you need another redstone basics video because you're kind of just scratching your head I'll um, do one so yeah that is about it thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna shoot this fox with lightning goodbye